Pisces, we're back for your bonus reading. So this is based on how supportive you were during the month of July. So each month I um, look at the metrics for like um, for for views, for enthusiasm in the comments, for um, yeah, for engagement, for likes, for shares. For, um, I can go into each sign and see how many new subscribers I got. So I just go from my, you know, from my heart and how um, I felt. And you've been a long time supportive sign from day one. And so um, then I look at it for the whole month and then that sign gets a bonus reading the following month. So this is your bonus reading and uh, usually comes around the middle of the month and you're the last sign in every series of readings. So you get two readings in a row. What fun. Okay, so I'm going to pull from Fortune Oracle. And yes, if you are a Pisces monthly membership um, member, you do get this, it will be in your, the extended will be in your membership. So just FYI. Um, let's see, from Fortune Oracle, for those of you watching, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus still. So let's get you um, an Oracle message. Ooh, how appropriate, the moon which in tarot is associated with Pisces, card 21. Pay attention to your intuition at this time and move ahead confidently. I'm going to read from the guidebook. It says this card indicates that your intuition is very strong at this moment. You are right to rely on your gut feelings, dreams that seem intense, or other messages and signs. Problems will be solved more easily than before, but decisions need to be made right away. Spending time alone will be nourishing to your soul. As I record this for you, um, Pisces, it's the 17th of August, and in two days we have the full moon um, in Aquarius. So just so you know, uh, moon energy swirling about so in your um, personal life and or relationships the message is the moon card can give you clarity regarding relationships be on the lookout for deception in the form of a two-faced friend lover or family member they may not be what they seem the new moon now so this is talking about the new moon we're coming up on a full moon the moon, new moon is an ideal time for relationships business acquaintances who Meet under a new moon, herald success, and soulmate connections may be made. New ventures abound and positive health conditions prevail. Uh, you will find success in anything started now. Move forward confidently. So we're at a full moon, not a new moon, but keep your eye open for the new moon later on. But uh, pay attention to your intuition at this time and move ahead confidently yeah, and after yesterday's reading, like, I don't know how much better I can do for you. That reading was, at least the ending of it was kind of off the chain, and even the extended was pretty powerful. Um, so we're just going to, I'm going to do the split soulmate spread here, and we'll see where we go. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you're brand new to the channel, I welcome you here. You might want to watch the reading I uploaded for Pisces yesterday. Um, and uh, yeah, come into the comments, say hello if you're new. If you've never been here before, let me know where you're tuning in from. I always come into the comments and, um, and, and I reply. So overall energy for the reading, well, of course. Different day, different deck, same sign, same energies that I'm drawing off of. Wow, wow, wow. So when I do this spread, I set the intention that this side is for the sign I'm reading for or about, which would be Pisces. That would make this side for the divine counterpart. But it can come through reversed. So keep that in mind. It's a general reading, not a private reading, right? And especially if you're a cross watcher, you may say, oh, no, Laura, that's my energy. That's fine. That's fine. I just need a structure to follow as a reader so I don't get lost 
in in all the energies. Okay, it's okay. Oof. All right. So I'm actually seeing some stuff that on this side that, re that yeah, this is really interesting. Okay, so for your person here, they're showing up with the energy of the chariot. That is uh, about progress, moving forward. It's triumph, it's victory, but their challenge, <laughs> their blocker challenge is, whoop, they're kind of in this suspended animation with the hanged man there's a temporary standstill so in essence they can't move too far too fast and the opportunity for them is to kind of get out of the weeds of all the confusion that may be blocking them at this moment the hanged man in essence is a temporary standstill for a reason to sort of allow for some illumination um, and so maybe they'll get some clarity uh, that's what the standstill and the temporary delay is about. Now for you, Nine of Wands. Uh, the Nine of Wands is that sort of moment where you're kind of just, ugh, I'm exhausted from, uh, like, I don't know if I can push through one more minute. But it's a card of perseverance and not giving up. So we'll see. Your blocker challenge, is there some kind of outside source of interference or conflict? And if you went to the extended in the reading from yesterday, you'll know what this, you'll understand this better. If you didn't, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna blow that because that was a big part of the message is about there's some kind of outside source of tension, conflict. I called it a whole lot of drama or like crap in the closet that you may not know about. And it's definitely a blocker challenge. And then the opportunity for you has to do with, um, you know, there's something spiritual here in this connection. There's something of a higher order, higher self energies that are bringing this connection together. There's a, a there's a something by design is what I kept saying yesterday. I, I, I felt that by design and now and you're being called to trust your intuition, too. So that's all I'm going to say. My lips are sealed. If you did watch yesterday's reading and did not avail yourself of that extended and that reading really did speak to you, it would be worth it because some of the same cards are showing up. Just going to say that. And you know that I never push no damn thing. So I'm just saying. That's it. Okay. Four of Wands. Divine Feminine, the Empress, High Priestess, there is Pisces. Well, it's actually the moon. It is the moon. And intuition around this beautiful energy. There's so much generosity, reciprocity available. You got to trust your intuition. Because part of the message in yesterday's reading on YouTube was you questioning whether or not you're on the same page and if what you're investing is gonna, you know, is gonna come back or if maybe you've taken a chance and, and there's been some sort of risk and you're, and you're gonna kinda lose, right? And have regrets about having put, put yourself out, you know, out there. Right? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. No risk, no reward. No guts, no glory. Take your pick. I, I, the way I ended over on YouTube, I thought that was like as good as it was going to get. And then I got into the extended and I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And now it's all coming back and, and it's still these same energies. I'm still working with your energy from yesterday. Same, same connected energy. Okay. Chariot. <laughs> yeah. Chariot, chariot. Yes. Vroom, vroom. Let's go. Let's do this. 
This person coming toward you has no quit in them. They are like, I, I know who I want. And yes, the nine of pentacles figured into that extended yesterday. And there it is. It's like, I'm coming toward you. This, that's all that's on their mind. That's all that they want. That would be their ultimate victory. You know, if I got to crawl over broken shards of glass, I'm going to do it. I don't care. I will get to you. That's kind of the energy. It's very, um, I like it. It's, they will be victorious. They will win the day. Um, they will not quit. There's nothing that's going to log jam them now. N there's nothing stopping them now. That's how they're entering this reading. Hanged man might have something to say about that. Oh, it's almost like impossible for me. So I'm going to say that this queen of wands is a spoiler. I'm going to say this Queen of Wands is, is connected to the Five of Wands. Because I know, like I know, that she is. And it's causing this person some distress. So this person has to pump the brakes on the chariot. So for those of you that may have third-party energy, this is your reading. If you don't, it may not be your reading. But that third-party energy can be a lot of things. Um... And I'm not, I'm not seeing any kind of nefarious cheating scenario or anything like that. No, 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 no. Uh, I'm just seeing that this is like they, they know you, you are it. You are it. You are their beloved. And this, this divine gift of the love of a lifetime, it may be worth them pumping the brakes a bit. And they're very worried and concerned about that because there's like this this energy that they're still contending with and they don't want it anywhere near you. They don't want you to be troubled by it, worried by it, to deal with it in any way, shape or form. So that's why you have to trust your intuition uh, around uh, the mutual investment. Because over on YouTube yesterday, mm, you seem like, I'm not so sure. I'm, I'm telling you, you can be sure. Based on what I see coming through and based on um, here and based on yesterday. Now let's see this person's opportunity. Seven of Cups. because uh, some part yesterday they had this seven of cups and I referenced like fantasy like you know was it all too good to be true did I like did I like fantasize that we have this really amazing connection and you know they're just taking this first step out into this new life that they have after dealing with like a lot <laughs> I'll just say that um, and so there was like you know half confusion and distorted perceptions and emotions and did I hallucinate that did I fantasize that and and that's part of what they've got to sort through okay and so now they like they're ready to sort of rev up the engine and get going and make progress and not give up. And now, though, there's like their worries and concerns. So they pump the brakes because they don't want to mess things up with you. And so the opportunity is to sort of work through all like to get through what's real versus what's fantasy, you know. And I even mentioned that I think yesterday 
and that world card. And I'm like, it's about closing out a cycle so the new cycle can begin and we have this cause for celebration and coming back together because the time is right. The time is right. The wheel is moving in your favor. You know how I talk about divine time, divine time, divine time. I'm sure you're throwing darts at a, a picture of me, a screenshot of me with divine time. But divine time, make no mistake, this person's opportunity is they've been sorting through the confusion and the emotional overwhelm and the like, did I imagine all of this? Because sometimes that's what the Seven of Cups is about, is reality versus illusion and fantasy. But it's not, it's, it's real. And they're coming out on the other side and the time is right for this reunion, this reconciliation, this coming back together, the joy that it brings. And that's why you're coming into this reading like, I don't know if I got anything more to give. Yep, you do. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> Match, mirror their energy, right? Yesterday was they had, they came into the reading with, with the Page of Pentacles. So it's like, fresh start, one baby step at a time. Uh, very good energy of, you know, we'll just, we'll just, we, we don't have to conquer Rome in a day. Let, there's communication like, how about if we just take this step by step? You know, we don't have to come on like gangbusters. And even though that Knight of Wands is underneath, that's what you're exhausted by. It's like, just, just come on, come on, come on. And it's, it's okay because they're go, the, the communication might be like, you know, like, how about we just grab some coffee? Yep, 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 we're good. <laughs> that, that'll, that'll do it. It seems to me like you've just been waiting for anything. And so don't overlook the simplicity of, of that initial connection. Because it just might not sweep you up off your feet. It might be really super basic. Even a bumping in to them somehow and like oh you know we should we should get together yeah i haven't seen you oh yeah we should get together then you then the response should be like yeah do you still have my number <laughs> you know what i mean like don't let it leave without the uh, the digits I, i'm just trying to say like i feel like it's so close it's so cl it's right there And you're both kind of like, did I, am I losing my mind? No, 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 you're not. It's right there. The time is right. And now your blocker challenge here with this five of wands. Four of cups, the hermit. Oh my God, because it's like, did this person kind of ghost me? Like, what's going on? Because poof, disappear. Uh, or they're just unapproachable or they haven't been around or whatever, leaving you feeling sort of, you know, rejected. And and you don't, you feel like, like, I don't know what's what happened here. You do not know what happened here and it doesn't really have anything to do with you. I have been telling you forever and a day that this person has been dealing with something really like, how shall I say, the whole situation just feels contemptible to me. What they've been having to deal with and negotiate just real bottom feeder kind of level crap that this person has been contending with. And no, have they shared it with you? No, maybe you know a little bit, you know a little bit. You know like 
just a very little bit. And I feel like the not knowing of it all has kind of left you really feeling sort of the emotional distance, feeling rejected, disillusioned, disheartened, um, some heartache, for some of you heartbreak. Um, and that's a real, that's a real challenge to overcome. Um, Cause there are feelings there, but it's like time and space and distance. Then you begin to go, well, I, I don't even know. Was it really a thing? It was really a thing. It was just as much a thing to this person as it was to you. But with the time and space and distance and this person having to suffer some real, you know, human indignities at the hands of others, it's, it's not that you weren't in their heart. It's that, you know, when you're dealing with that kind of crap, everything is right there. All the ish is right there. There's really no time and space for anything else. But now that was then and this is now. That was then and this is now. So, and I've been seeing it. The reason why I'm trying to drive this home is for those of you who are new, I have been seeing this storyline for a while. For a long time. Hierophant, in your opportunity... Why do I not bring tissues? Hierophant, Six of Swords, the Emperor to that Empress, but of course the Two of Cups. And just as a little hint in the extended yesterday, in the, in the part where it's how this person sees you, thinks about you, or feels about you, Hierophant. So the opportunity is sort of about how the, the emperor is seizing this moment in this connection and how you both kind of rise to your higher selves and get beyond all the drama, get beyond this part of the program where you've been emotionally disconnected. And the Hierophant does speak about, you know, uh, commitment and all that and presides over wedding vows and stuff, but that's not what I'm seeing here. I mean, it's possible because we have these two cards, but I feel like I'm seeing the twins I feel this is what I feel like I'm seeing I feel like I see you returning to your higher purpose why you were brought here why you were brought here at this time incarnated on this planet at this time to find each other for the mission that you were chosen to fulfill. And it's, it's all happening now. It doesn't happen very often. It's the exception, not the rule. Really beautiful. So we, you know, when I see something like this, it gets me very emotional. And it's like, I want to say, get out of your own way. Don't overthink this. Give this person space. Um, right? Shake off your exhaustion. Trust your intuition. Um, yeah, time to move ahead confidently. This person is like about to bust a move and will come toward you almost like a bullet train as soon as fully liberated 
and it's almost there. It's like, you know, I've got knots in my stomach. That's how much I feel it. Okay. So, um, yeah, I'm going to head to the extended as I like to do. And I'm pulling the two of you together in the extended strengths, challenges, opportunities connected to each other. This has been separate. Let's pull you together. The two of you together, their message to you, your message to them, guidance from spirit, any hidden energy that might be helpful for you and what might unfold going forward. So that's what we'll do in the extended. The links are below. Um, and I'm going to give you the astrology here, but as always, if you have not already, and these readings are helpful, insightful, confirmational, validational, please, is that even a word? Subscribe below, uh, so that I can continue to stay here and, um, you know, serve my calling. This is my calling. I don't do anything else. This is how I support myself. So I ask for that subscription for a reason. It's how YouTube knows that I'm serious about what I do. And um, there have been some changes to the algorithm and it's harder and harder for channels like mine to survive. Okay, so that's my ask. Here we go. Empress is Venus. Taurus and Libra. High Priestess is the moon. I know. Chariot is Cancerian energy. We got a double hit of that. We've got some Virgo in the Nine of Pentacles. We've got Hanged Man is Neptune, ruler of Pisces. We have Queen of Wands, oof, um, Aries. Saturn in the World card, Aquarius and Capricorn. We got the uh, Wheel of Fortune is Jupiter, rules Sagittarius. Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Knight of Wands is Sagittarius. The Hermit, more Virgo. Hierophant is Taurus. And we have the Emperor is Aries. That's what I have. I'm headed to the extended right now. I'll see you there in a second.